Hello everyone. Welcome back to another lecture on English grammar, usage and writing. I hope all of you attended the questions that I have given in the link uh, earlier. Many of you might have faced some difficulties in answering those questions. Some of the rules might not be familiar to you. But don't worry about anything. We will cover all these portions and after completing grammar portions, I will once again uh, give you the same link along with another one. Then you check yourself how many went wrong, how many got it right. I'm sure that you can improve your scores after attending all these grammar classes carefully. Not only attending, what you have to do is you have to do the practice work suggested by each teacher. Okay, so in today's le uh, lecture, I would like to introduce you a family. You might be thinking, a family? Isn't it an English grammar class or not? Yes, obviously it is English grammar class. But I will say I'm going to introduce a family. Let's see who is that family. So I will introduce you the family with the help of a PPT which I have prepared. Uh, one second, let me share the screen. Okay. Okay. So are you all ready for that? So let's get to know a family. Just get ready. Are you ready? Okay, then let's knock the door. The door is here. It's closed. Just knock it. Yes. What is the name of the family? Yes. The name of the family is Brahma. The name word, name word is visible. So what is the name of the family? Brahma. So we are going to get introduced ourselves into the Brahma family. We know that a family means it consists of a few members. Let's see who are the members of this family. Generally in a family we can see a couple along with their children. Here also in the Brahma family we have a couple. What is the name of the husband? Mr. Now. So, the head of the family or father or husband in the family is Mr. Now. And who is his wife? Mrs. Burke. So, the name of the couple is Mr. Now and Mrs. Burke. And they are blessed with three children. A nice family, a couple blessed with three children that means two daughters and one son. Okay, the male members is indicated with blue letters, and female members indicated with red letters. Okay, it is to identify the gender. Okay, just uh, give you for the sake of uh, to make it interesting. Okay. So, they are blessed with three children. What are the name of the children? Adjective, pronoun and adverb. So, Mr. Noun and Mrs. Verb. They are blessed with three children. Adjective, pronoun and adverb. This is a, a huge family. They are wealthy. So, they have a couple of servants too. Five members. In order to serve these five members, especially to serve the master of the house, they, they have three servants. Who are they? They are preposition, conjunction and interjunction. So in Brahma family, all together, how many members are there? Five mem family members in, uh, along with 
three servants total eight members are there in the brahma family you might have studied these terms in your school days and you have studied it as the parts of speech so instead of using that parts of speech that term i'm using here family to make it more interesting i hope you're following me well so leave that term parts of speech and all just consider them as a family so five members and three servants we know that a very person in the society has to play certain roles certain functions isn't it in this family also the family members each members has certain functions to perform not only in the family even in the society let's see what are the functions of these family members so who is the head of the family yes we know that that is mr now so what is the purpose of mr now mr now he represent people place or things so what is the definition of a noun noun means a term which indicates the name of a person or a place or thing for example my name adira it is a noun kayam kolam nangiyar kolangara it is a name of a place it is also a noun mobile phone this is a thing it is also a noun so this is mr noun then mrs verb what is man by verb verb means it is also a word it describe an action or a state or occurrence teaching is it a noun no it is an action dancing singing sleeping were you sleeping now okay this is verb okay now you know who is mr now who is mrs verb and let's see what about the children the first child is a daughter what is the name adjective she always praises her father so what is the purpose or role of the daughter adjective she always praises father you know that's in some family uh, certain daughters they are very close to their father rather than their mother so here the elder uh, daughter adjective she always praises her father but pranam the son the only one son of the family he replaces the father in his absence when mr noun is not there who will take in charge who will be in his position obviously the one and only one son of the family that is pranam so the role of pranam is to replace his father in his absence i forgot to mention that word in his absence when father is there he he don't have much role but when father is not there pranam has a role to perform and the third child is adverb when the elder daughter is close to the father the younger one is close to her mother so what is the purpose of adverb she modifies mother when the elder daughter praises father she here she is modifying or making beautiful or modifying the mother this is the role of adverb the, the younger daughter okay then let's see the role performed by each servant um oh my god okay uh, there is some correction okay name of servants the first servant is preposition preposition is the head servant okay he is a faithful servant to mr noun he always accompany him 
So this is the road. For example, suppose I am saying a cat is on the table. So on that preposition is always close to the noun. That is why I am saying that it is a he is a faithful servant to Mr. Noun. So we will discuss preposition in detail in some other class. So I am not explaining too much about preposition right now. As he is the head of the head servant of the family, we will discuss about him later. The next second servant is conjunction. He always makes a connection between the family members. Conjunction, connecting link. And interjection, he is a mere son. He doesn't have much role to perform. For example, interjection, for example, some lazo. So, a mild job is there. So, this is all about interjection. So, these are the servants. Okay. Then, let's see. Look at this examples. The first sentence, Ramu is washing clothes. So now you are getting acquainted with grammar family. So let's see whether you have understood the concepts of grammar family or not. The first sentence, Ramu is washing clothes. So in this sentence, which is or which one is now? We know that there are two nouns here. Ramu, clothes, both are nouns. Okay. And Ramu, it is noun. Cloth is also noun. Okay, leave that later. And what is the verb here? Washing. Okay, Ramu is noun. Washing is noun. Sorry, verb. Then, instead of Ramu, he, in the next sentence, I used he. Instead of noun, Ramu, here I used he. So, he, it is, what it is? It is a pronoun. I told you earlier, in the absence of father, who will replace his position? The son, the pronoun. He is washing clothes. The next one, Ramu is gently washing clothes. Gently. So here the word gently is modifying the verb washing. So gently is, is it adverb or adjective? Who is modifying verb? Yes, the younger daughter adverb. So gently is adverb. Diligent Ramu is washing clothes. So here the word diligent is used to praise the noun. So diligent is the adjective. So I hope now when you are given with a sentence, you will be able to identify noun, verb, pronoun, adverb and adjectives. So, this is the basic thing. Okay, when you are studying grammar, the first and foremost thing that you have to understand or that you have to make it clear is these concepts. So, you have to be well aware about grammar family. Okay, so these eight, you now you know who are the eight members. And usually when we, uh, when we get into uh, acquaintance with a family, we will naturally get uh, into connection with some other persons too. So, grammar family. So, when you are uh, studying grammar family, you have to uh, know about the other friends or other families or the other companies which this family is related to. So, in the family, you can see that in the family, you can family companies and bandangal and organizational. 
അവരെ കുറിച്ചും നിങ്ങൾ എന്നെ കുറിച്ചും എൻ്റെ ഫാമിലിയെ കുറിച്ചും പഠിക്കുമ്പോൾ ഒബ്വിയസ്ലി ഞാൻ കണക്റ്റഡ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ആളുകളെ കുറിച്ചും കൂടി നിങ്ങൾ അറിയിക്കുകയാണ് സോ സിമിലർലി ഹിയർ ഓൾസോ വെൻ യു ആർ ഗെറ്റ് വെൻ യു ആർ ഗെറ്റിംഗ് ടു നോ മോർ ഡീറ്റെയിൽസ് അബൌട്ട് ദ ഗ്രാമർ ഫാമിലി യു വിൽ ബി ഇൻ ദ പാസേജ് ഓഫ് ടൈം യു വിൽ ബി ഗെറ്റ് ഇൻ ദ അക്വൈൻറ്റൻസ് വിത്ത് സം അതർ concepts or some other families or some other organizations too for example articles tenses active and passive forms genitives okay infinitives all these concords all these concepts that you have to study so so this is the base i hope this is clear to you so i'm winding up this session here thank you